conference given by Father Luel this last And it talks about the commission and the clergy. Okay, so let's tell us your ongoing commission. Uh, and then, uh, in the course of fraternal communion, the uh, commission cannot be happening uh, in isolation, but within the Presbyterian. So I want to think about that in your process. Who will be in charge of managing that kind of task, you no, know, ongoing formation? So the Karumpona Commission on Clergy. Uh, actually, they do not have any job, and um, the CBCP uh, has updated in a way. Ano ba yung mandate dito as a euro? Ito yung uh, a particular passage from Ratio Fundamentalis Institutionis Atertales. The passage of time, kindness, physical weakness, weaknesses, and the first manifestation of frail health complex, disappointment over pastoral expectation, no? like upcoming chapel and all that, the burden of routine, the fatigue induced by chains, and other social cultural elements. What can dampen apostolic zeal and generosity of this? Okay? So, as you may know, Matita um, Kalulin and another version of the ratio, and Natunaya Taitor 4. No? Well, we know the background on a global scale, and Karunan massive uh, scandal. No? And so, kinailangan na magkaroon ng review what's happening in the seminary. But then, a much later development, nakita nila, hindi lang para sa seminaryo may depekto. Kundi mismo, habang nabubuhay ang mga pare, there seems to be a lacuna. And what is that? A lacuna. Sabi nga ng Nanihusyo, no? The shortest formation of a priest is the seminary training. In which, nandun lang yung initial formation. At yung pinakamahaba, in which account actually goes with our life, and in a way, matatapos yun kapag tayo may six feet below the ground, ay yung tinatawag natin yung ongoing formation. Now, hindi ba na yun na, this is rather a novelty for many of us. Well, sa mga millennials, siguro, hindi na. But for us, Um, during our time, I remember, lagi sinasabi na, you know, after your training in the seminary, you are ready to face the world. No? You are ready to conquer the world. And so, with that kind of, in a way, mandate, parang pag sinabi mo, o oh, meron tayo ganito ang seminar training, teka mo na sa dali, I, I have come to you that, I know that. Although sinabi na kanina yun, no? So, pinigyan din lang na, uh, meron tayo dapat masagin sa ating kalitalidad. And this is the most important Para i-reshape yung ating world view ng ating mga Christo. Na tayo ay tapos na ng secondary training, I'm done. Goodbye. No? So, kaya yeah, very, uh, uh, in a way, yung sinabi ng Lucio, no? na the, the shortest daw pala yung sa seminaryo, And the longest is the ongoing, permanent, not seasonal, not every now and then, but an ongoing commission. Okay? Ano ba na-highlight dito? Well, nalil yung mga basic assumption, uh, principal mandate of the commission, institutionalization of ongoing probation. Uh, if, you remember, if you remember, yung development ng seminaryo before, wala talagang seminaryo as such, okay? And that was, I think, during the Council of Trend that it has been clarified na ang, ang candidate for the priesthood will have to undergo what now we call seminary training. See, John Paul himself had his own seminary training, the basic, alone with the, with the priest. No? But of course, that was a very abnormal situation because then Paul was under the communist regime. No? But then, later on, nakita natin even in Poland, nagkaroon na ng flores o mga seminary na nag-east up na yung regime. No? So in the same measure, parang sinasabi sa atin, kung merong seminary noon, in 
charge of those candidates for the priesthood. Now those who are priests will have also a similar institution. We don't know what to call it. Yung isa kasi madali, seminario, seedbed. Now how do you call this institution that will accompany the priest throughout his life? Will this be something that is mobile? Or will it be some buildings in which don't I papaso? Uh, every now and then, every 10 years or so, or something like that. So, in other words, now we are trying to see a lot of possibilities. No? So, nandun pa tayo sa journal states of how this ongoing formation will be institutionalized. And then, of course, mahal na yung uh, obligation ng Krisya, no? Kasi niluwanan din yun, umaga na ang gawin ng komisyon, pagka yung obispo ang dipunitino. So, ano mong ngayon? At niluwanan din doon. Kung na lang ilaman na ang gawin ng komisyon ng mga pari, equally, the bishop. Kung niluwanan ang gawin ng komisyon. Para parang niluwanan. And then, yung Christ accountability. We'll see that later on. Again, this is not charged of mission of clergy and priest's special needs. Okay? So let me start off with the basic assumption na sinasabi dito na a priest becomes an effective and faithful agent of evangelization demanded by our time when a priest is updated. He has acquired updated knowledge in theology and latent sciences as well as things. Did you know that earlier, no? Na makaiba yung updating at sa renewal. Yung updating is more like academic thing, no? While renewal is more of the soul, the heart, the priest, no? And and so, pagdating nato sa ongoing education, we have these two basic elements: updating and renewal. So, ano yung goal ng uh, renewal na yun? To be more configured to Christ. We know that the opposite of Christ, no? Na pag inordin tayo, we are configured to Christ. We can act in persona Christi capitis, no? Yan yung the power of orders, no? In which when, whenever we invoke or say, the very words of Jesus during the last supper, the, the bread and wine offered will be transformed into a first-class miracle of becoming the body and blood of Christ. But then, meron tayo, kung tuwagin natin ay, ang ang pare, pag kumilos, sa ganun bagay, well, ano yan eh, automatic, kahit yung pare, wala sa nagung ginagawa niya, heal siya, or whatever, or confused, you know, or even doubting whether the sacrament treaty of the Eucharist is true or not, well, the Eucharist takes place, you know. So, But then we we forget that we don't have the power of order, the power of jurisdiction, and we don't have the the duty to form, so that those who will be receiving the body of Christ will will all the more profit from what he is receiving. So some of the things that are not just the divine that are not the common Christo, na eto. Eh, magdataos. Ano lang si Christ dito? Pero kung tulang yung ating witnessing, yung ating preaching, yung defective, yung kulang, o short change yung mga tao at the mass, well, nasip si Christ, pero sacramentally, no? But has it has has it transformed that person into becoming uh, a real uh, Christian who is witnessing to, to the gospel of the Lord, no? That's another question. You know, let's go with that, no? Okay. So, ito ngayon yung Commission of Clergy and uh, we are basing on what CBCP actually has uh, initiated. The first is, um, uh, number one job is the management or promotion of the permanent spiritual, intellectual, and pastoral formation of the clergy through the OGF. Okay, let's be familiarized with the terms now. No? Assistance to the bishop in responding to members of the clergy with special needs. Okay, nung tayo nagsimula mag-collecta ng contribution doon sa Galilee 2, somebody commented, and I believe, yes, he's right. Na 
kailangan ng kung pa tayo ay paano gumagastos tayo ng marami para sa mga problema ng mga pare. E paano naman yung nagsisikap na, na maging mabuti? Para nung hindi na ayos yun. Okay. Naliwanan din yun doon sa yun, uh, the conference. In the sense that now, even the so-called Kalili is un undergoing some inner uh, metamorphosis no? or transformation in the sense that kung nung una, ayun na naging dating, no? na uh, yan ay para sa mga problematic. To the point na nagkaroon ng stigma na kapag dinala ka doon, no problem mo. Nadala doon. So, ngayon, ang mga pari ay yung punta ron. No, diluanag natin ngayon that the big chunk of the work of Galilee is in fact to empower us to be kindled in us the gift of the priesthood. So whether you are doing well or not, you will need to go there. We will be sent there. So hindi lang yun to sa mga may problema to. What we are doing actually now is a more proactive stance rather than reactive. Just reacting when things now has exploded, you know, in a big scandal. And then, sa katay na nakapuhap ng pagkilos, no? So ngayon, ang simbahan ay gustong maging proactive. Okay? So yung binigay natin 3,000 ay hindi gagamitin lamang sa mga problema pa. Para sa ating mga sa mga. I was struck, no? When, uh, nung nag-present ng score uh, sa buong Pilipinas, magkano na yung nakulenta? Uh, actually, medyo ang result is this month eh. Dahil uh, nakapalenta pala ng 2.7 million, no? And, uh, but then, kung meron nang ganong bad news, meron good news, no? May dalawang pari doon, na nilagay nila yung pangalan, na sila ay parehong nasa mahirap na parokya in the hinterland, I don't know, of Mindanao or Visayas, no? Ang sabi ng dalawang pari, Magpibigay po kami monthly na bakit sa Palawan Express ng 300 pesos. To this day, they have been sending. Yung isa ay 4,000 pesos, he is in a poor palace. Yung isa ay mga around 3,000. Ano ba ka? 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 Ano Okay. Are you buying minimalistic lang? Knowing that this institution is for me. This institution will take care of my priesthood. Will you just give? Pusing? If those priests in four palaces can give so much, Yan na pakaya tayo. Huh? Ako, personally, it was us. I'd like to have also my own personal commitment to the project. Number three, Eric, collaboration with the Office of Guest Priest. Um, this is more of the Archdiocese of Manila. No? Kasi, you know, what's happening is we have priests coming from Beacon, coming from the South, coming from, coming from the Central area and so on, who would uh, prefer to work in Manila for valid reason, but prominent reasons is economic reason. Let's face it. So now it's becoming a problem you know, in the sense that you know you have this priest going around celebrating masses here and there, celebrating five, seven, eight masses, some of the funeral homes and all that. So it's a yung yung um, commission on clergy in a way will, will try to look at this problem sa atin so far lang tayo lang tayo na nasa US and uh, hopefully during this year the clergy will be able to do something that is substantial in putting order some of our brother priests in the US okay so ito na yung yung pagiging institutionalized no um, mahal ka pala, parang parang ano eh, parang sa seminar, kung meron silang curriculum and uh, gradual, graduated um, 
but a formation. In a way, uh, you know, in the future, and uh, we hope that it's going to be soon, we uh, have basic plan for a stable ongoing formation of energy. So there will be some sort of mapping out uh, system as well as personal plan for ongoing formation. Uh, it's a bit of their own uh, formation, uh, collective, and their own personal. As you know, you find yourself in a very far away place, no? So, para bigyan ng information, na siguro mayro mga mga readily available module or something that you can do uh, with your uh, uh, alone. No? Of course, that's not ideal, but we will have to cater to every situation. No? Design program that are in general age appropriate. Uh, alam natin to, kasi ano muna pa, bakit kasi nasabi yun, no? Pero young clergy, junior clergy, middle age, upper and lower, and you have the senior, etc. No? Kasi may kanyang-kanyang problema sila, may kanyang-kanyang silang mga hinaharap, may mga kanyang-kanyang mga pinagtataanan ni Gaga. Okay. So, ito naman yung sa bahagi ng bishop. Uh, the bishop should do his best to make a long center para sa ongoing position. Uh, we this be like, like this? Nakikira lang tayo sa seminaryo. And in a way, we struggle with, uh, you know, the schedule of the seminary. I think this is not an idea. I think I should come in which there is a center just for us. And then it's your the funding. Of course, the money is the money that we have to pay for, no? Pera, no? And provide adequate staff. What do you mean by that? Not necessarily my body, no? Lay people will be managing the center, and uh, we should be able to, in a way, engage also in a more professional way the mga expert like uh, like uh, psychology. Kami rin ay lang ng psychiatrical therapy, who knows, no? Possible, it can happen. And this is also the job of the bishop that uh, he would have to ensure the linkages between the ongoing formation and what's happening in the diocese. So in other words, kinakailangan i-relate natin to what's happening on the ground. No? Hindi naman siya parang something that is, you know, in the limbo, in isolation. And uh, it does from what's really happening in the... Okay, so that's a way of telling me that you have to hurry. Uh, okay, so trabaho din ng bishop to examine the content and process. So, so para siya supervisor, okay? Alam niya, may okay, principal, alam niya, ang mga mga pinagdagawa niyo dyan. So, kung gusto ang programa, is it effective or not, etc. It's the job of the bishop. And, and, and by the way, no muna, tap nila, Vicars for Clergy, hindi maanag yun. And I guess uh, the uh, Kanuloyers here would agree na that is not, not, that is not existent sa Kanulo. So ang ginawa, hindi maanag yun. And it was uh, Archbishop Romano Valle School during the first mass, nung, uh, opening mass rather, nung hindi maanag yun, sabi nyo, we have to call this episode file vicars for clergy. Otherwise, wala po yun sa, sa loob ng kakano. So, para non-entity. Okay? So, niluwanag na, tawag niyo sa sa vicar, ay episcopal vicar for the clergy. Okay, let's move. Um, and then, as part of transparency, and people would know, in a way, follow up. Because, at the end of the day, sino ba, sino ba susupport dito? Ayo ba? I don't think so. It will be, again, the lady who will be supporting us with this, as they have supported us in the seminary. But of course, in Luan and Tifudola, ay yung mga pake, dapat willing out of our own personal pake. This is for my personal enrichment. Maay magkaroon naman tayo ng kanyang dumo kung sa napakalalim na kung sa natin. So, now, ang sinasabi dito ngayon ay, Baka na lang mag-bispo na ipaalaw sa mga tao na through uh, like, uh, social communication. That's what's happening. You know? uh, 
in the ongoing probation of learning. Okay, so I will I will now move very fast because these are only sample of the contents of the ongoing formation. So, ako lang din ang pastores na mabobis, meron four basic areas like human formation. We don't have the time to discuss each one of them. It's not appropriate. Intellectual formation. Parang, ano din eh, parang yung seminaryo, no? Kaya kasi po meron certain nuances na naiiba, no? Uh, and then, the spiritual formation. And then, of course, the pastoral formation. Yeah. Ito ngayon, ano naman yung personal accountability ng pocket? Um, uh, it, again, again, this is like proposal. No? Parang it requires, limbawa, that you will have to fulfill during the year certain number of hours. And therefore, meron tayong record. Meron mga nag-react sa ginawa natin na Yung, yung ating uh, uh, attendance ay uh, sinit-check, no? Well, more to come. Sinit-check sa atin, are you late or are you on time? Like, it's cool. Institutionalized formation. Gentlemen, we have to engage ourselves. This is not, hindi naman na sa atin. Now, ang tuwing formation, hindi optional. Kasi namin ang opsyonal, pwede hindi ako tumalo o hindi. You will have to do your best to be here on time. Hindi siya gano'n alam na ngayon. Hindi na pwede yung pakibig-kibig tayo na, ala, 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 pwede naman siya mga idol ako. You will be held accountable. From now on, you'll be taking notice of whether you arrive on time or not, or you leave early than what is supposed to be the attendance that we should have. Not unless we have excuses. And we will have excuses, of course. Medyo mahira. Mabigat ka talaga. Magagalit kayo sa amin. Totoo yan. Pero ito ang end of the day. Sino makikilapan? Ourselves and the people of God. We owe it to the people of God. We continue forming ourselves, honing our skills, sharpening our, our knowledge of things, it's for the kingdom of God. It's not for anybody's kingdom. It is for the kingdom of God. Okay, so, parang may ganyan, no? Although, hindi pa ito klaro. Like, minimum, minimum of 50 hours of education or formation as a year. So, actually, that's just one hour per week. It's a very minimal thing, no? Then, of course, the regular annual retreat, okay? And then, the daily prayer. Mga tumating ang panahon, sinecheck ko, mga tatasagal na lang divine office yung ating liturgy of the hours. It's a little bit of effect. You should have the humility to 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 be held accountable. Because after all, yung ating liturgy of the hours is for the people. We pray it for them. And only secondary for us. No? So, monthly celebration of you know, like confession, etc. Ayun, meron din dito yung tungkol sa attending gathering of priests. Okay, so let me now go. We are back to the mission. Trabaho pala ng obispo na magkaroon siya ng periodic colloquium sa bawat isang pahay. Ang bigat to. Ang bigat to. Ang bigat sabihin nun, the bishop will have to prioritize yung ma-encounter niya ang pare on a one-on-one basis para kumusta ka na. Kumusta ka na? Nasaan ka na? Sa kapakulit. Kumusta ka na? Pero, may kasunod. Either directly or through the Episcopal Legal Court. Okay. Bishop, request ko lang. Kumahati kayo ng court, ha? Kasi pwede naman yung i-delegate ito sa amin. Kasi ilan kami, we are five. But mamaya mag-adapter tayo ng kasi lalabas na mayroong kakakunan sa ating komisyon. Okay? But I would highly encourage our dear Bishop to have that privilege colloquium with the priest, no? 
on a periodic and not seasonal manner. So, ibig sabihin, pero kung ano rin for bishop, no, na, na kung saan ko na ito, eh, hindi pa, kung saan ko na siya, you know, uh, either pupunta hindi doon, o pupunta hindi ito, sa bahay pa, or whatever. Okay, so, now, again, this is, wow, institutionalized, ha? Meron tayong regular report. Parang, parang, parang sa seminary din, meron tayong uh, semestral uh, report. Um, Pusta. But of course, this is in a deeper way, so you're not in a very academic manner. Uh, sometimes it's difficult to function like that, you know? And regular contact points, etc. They have seen this, okay? So, model of the Yosel Commission on Fair Trade. Grant po tayo kayo okay sa ating ginagawa. Uh, yung pala, either appointed by the bishop or elected by the Presbyterium and then later confirmed by the bishop. Okay? So, at, at the moment, uh, ina-appoint ng bishop. Pwede naman, dumating ang panahon, uh, the clergy can, can uh, you know, in the whole set, and uh, next is Yun, nandiyan na yung trabaho niya. Nag-reference sa Bishop sa... Okay, yung usapin ang external at saka internal forum. Kasi yung hindi-tapos yung pagkakaroon ng mix-up, no? Kaya within the commission, meron doon pa rin ang trabaho niya is more on the internal forum. Okay, so pag-reference natin ito. Okay, so yun pa lang ang commission, oh sorry, meron din dapat treasurer. Ito nga, actually question ko ito, na hindi ko alam kung dapat ni Paul ba dapat siya? Secretary, definitely yes. And ito po yung mga duties and responsibilities. I think we've been doing a number of them. We will be serving. Okay, so, may mga members? Okay, ano ba ito? Judy's responsibilities pa rin, no? Okay, I don't think we have the time, but just for you to see, more or less, the scope of the responsibilities and duties of the commission. Hindi natin alam, ito pala yun, no? Judy's responsibilities, no? Well, ang sabi dito, the Episcopal Vicar cannot work alone, and he should not work alone. So, it's a team work. Kaya maganda rin yung yung magkakasama ay kumaga, hindi yung ating ginagawa sa seminaryo, di ba? Yung ating team sa seminaryo, or less, maganda ang samahan nila. Because, you know, at the end of the day, it will be benefiting the the seminarians. No? Ayun naman, siguro maganda yung samahan ng uh, kasama sa commission ay uh, maganda rin ang magiging management ng uh, ongoing commission. Okay, so this is the last uh, part. Okay, so nakita niya kayo dyan, dapat represented ang young clergy. <coughs> uh, wala pa tayo yung young clergy. So, Let's know, Bishop, whether uh, today we can now include uh, somebody from the yeah, clergy to be part of the commission. Okay, sorry for the video. I don't know how to do it. This is the work of the Bishop of the To provide proper intervention of his involvement in any misconduct or scandal. Um, yung unang, unang salvo sa halip ng bishop uh, ito din ay Episcopal Vicar to be dealing with the priest undergoing certain crisis and if certain decision will have to be made mas maganda na yun na the bishop has the ultimate say because then meron pa siyang paraan na mag-recourse diba? So, the initial steps of investigation, of increase, the part involved, etc. etc. Kung mayroon ang pagkatatawag, buti na, wala pa nangyayari nyo, na pigla sa sabog sa media, it will be the 
Stefan Mikar or somebody within the commission who will actually be the spokesperson in, in that particular concern. Okay, I thought that was the end. So, ang uh, BICAR is also a member of the Board of the Consultants and the Speaker of Council. Right? And uh, he's also the member, a member of the personal board. So, you know, uh, you need a superman to do that, no? I mean, seeing the scope, no? Um, so, the second mandate, you now, assisting the mission. Now, the team specialist. Ano ba yung specialist na ito? Nakaka-intrigue ito. Okay, yun. Vocational problems. Sexual misconduct. Pare na may anak. And then, pare na may relation with adult or minors or vulnerable adults. Addiction. Alcohol. Sex. Internet. Gambling. So you know, the culture of gambling which is prevalent in the country now it becomes uh, for us really something that we have to avoid. Tayo, I, even the semblance of, you know, that we are patronizing the scene is something that we have to avoid. We should not be seen in places like that. Uh, otherwise, we feel like nothing. Ah, may problema sa food. Ang shopping. Shopping, I don't know. Not only in the Philippines, no? But somewhere else. It is recognized as a problem. Especially, kung yung ating gagas to say, pero ng Maroc, yung personal money na ito. Kasi ito ang mga rin ang Personality problems. There are problems that are under. Cannot control. Berating people right there during the homing. There should be some other incident of anger. Difficult to live and work with. Mood problems. No. Etc. Mental disorders. Okay. So other special needs concerns. Etcetera, etcetera. So, siguro sa kanan natin kung usapan ito. Ito po yung parang model lang. Ang recommendation din, magkaroon tayo ng isang crisis management team. Yung nakarili siya. Parang ang ginamit na na industry is parang fire extinguisher. Ang hindi lang siya, isa hindi magkagamit, fine. But it should be ready. In case na magkaroon ng fire, meron tayo na set up na ng crisis management team. Hindi lang sa tayo, kung nakawag ngayon, magbibigong tayo, sama-sama, magbibigong dapat meron pa tayo ng crisis management team. And this is the moment. Okay? Okay, so the structure of the centralized, at the center we have the Diyasa Nutrition and Clergy, we have the Office for Ongoing Information, we have the Desk for Priest Outside the Diocese, we have a desk for Christ in special with special needs. Thank you. So, tayo po ngayon ay kapag na facilitated. So, pinahin ko po ang oras si Mosey Pioke. And then on the end, you can take the importance of sacramental fraternity and maybe it speaks about our relations. How was the relation form? Or my relation form? But more than that, how was the relation form sa kapwa ng parang mo? Doon ang mga kapitang ito. Sabi ko mo siya.
Ayan ako ang talaga, ang pinakihintay ng lahat na masalita. Si Padre ko. Ako na po kay Mosinger Derry. So nung presentation ng Provision ng Clergy ay napakalawak talaga ng gagawin. Eh, hindi ko alam kung paano po yung nakakaya yung sa pagkakaya yung BG. Ay po yung director ng uh, Microbes at saka Ecology. <laughs> para ang iyong sector ay si Super Clergy Man. So, ang question, ang question ko ay, pwede mo nyo bang ibigay yung ecology sa ibang pari? Halimbawa, yung mga metodomasi ko ay si Monsignor James.